In this double exposure tutorial, I'll be showing you multiple ways to create double exposures in camera with the Nikon Z6. And because Nikon has nearly identical menus across most of its cameras, you could follow along with almost any Nikon camera body. And many other camera brands also offer similar types of multiple exposure modes. You may just have to go through the camera manual and try and find what it is called for your specific camera. So let's jump right into this lesson. There are really three ways to create in-camera double exposures with the Nikon Z6. You'll probably find at least one of these methods in whatever DSLR or mirrorless camera body that you happen to be using. The first method is called multiple exposure mode on Nikons. It allows you to shoot more than one exposure and the camera will automatically merge them together. This is about as close as you can get to shooting a real analog style double exposure on your digital camera. With some mirrorless cameras like the Z6, you can see an overlaid preview of your first image or images to help you better compose your next shot or shots if you're shooting multiple images. Some people may consider this cheating, so you do have the option of turning overlay shooting completely off. Some of the other controls you have over your multiple exposures are the number of shots, which is pretty self-explanatory, what blend mode you'd like to use to composite your images together, which is very similar to the blend modes in Photoshop. I would experiment with those a little bit and kind of see what you like. And you have the option to keep your original NEF raw exposures after they've been combined, or you can turn that off and just keep the final double exposure. Go through and play with all these settings and make sure you understand what all of them do. Each one has its own purpose and can be utilized in different situations depending on what you're trying to do. The second way we can create a double exposure on the Z6 is selecting this last menu item called Select First Exposure. This shooting mode is also in the multiple exposure menu on the Z6. This option allows you to select a previously captured image on your card and create a double exposure. For example, I took a series of photos of neon lights the night before, and now I can use them to create this double exposure a day later if I want to. This is even extremely helpful on location when I shot a variety of these high key portraits and wanted to combine them with a palm tree second exposure later on that same shoot. Our last option for creating double exposures in camera on the Z6 is called image overlay and you can find this in your retouching menu. The image overlay option probably allows for the most flexibility. You can edit together double exposures in camera from the comfort of your own home even after you finish shooting. Select two of your favorite images from your memory card and adjust the strength of each shot or how much you want them to appear in the final composited photo. That's really all for this double exposure lesson. You can create some amazing, surreal photographs using this technique. The only limit is your imagination. So go out there, play with this technique, use all of the options, the image overlay, selecting your first exposure and the multiple exposure mode, and just see what you're more comfortable shooting. Each option has its own advantages or disadvantages. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Running Gun Photo. And if you found this video valuable, please hit that like button and share it with a friend on social media. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Run and Gun for all of my tips, tricks, and hacks videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot.